Soccer players were not the only ones that got rained on. It was just as bad for the baseball players not far away. Giants Central versus Natrona in the 4A state championship game. First half, Central wearing the white. This is Parker Longbottom. This shot will bounce off of the crossbar and the goalpost, and it's in. That might not have happened if everything was dry. Maybe playing in the rain has advantages. It's 1-0. As long as it was raining, perhaps the Indians had an advantage. Jaden Lopez weaves his way through the defense, and he's got a shot, but he pushes the ball just wide of the net. Honestly, I don't know if wet turf can affect the bounce of a ball or not. You know, we'll just blame it on the rain. Pretty safe bet. On the other end of the field, Natrona trying the corner kick approach. A lot of bodies in the way. Central accidentally deflected the ball to Jordan Milby, who applies the final touch. Had that been a Natrona player who deflected the ball, it would have been offsides. So Milby says, thanks for the gift. We're tied at one. About nine minutes later, Milby was back in business. There is a very small lane between the goalie and the goalpost, and the senior transfer from Missouri will thread the needle. The Mustangs came into this tournament as the bottom seed from the West, and they are once again stunning the competition. They were up 2-1 to one going into halftime. Second half, teams have changed directions, and it has stopped raining. Regan Chatterton will set up Milby for the hat trick try, and not quite. NC was being the more aggressive team, and that highlight could have had a painful ending. He almost overdid it. Natrona was also motivated by the fact that last year, in the first round of the state tournament, they were one minute away from taking Central to a shootout, and they botched it. Chatterton probably wanted that one back, but with a one-goal lead so far, he was not that concerned. Meanwhile, the Indians needed to get something going soon. They were last year's state runner-ups, and it was starting to look like another runner-up trophy was in their future. The first shot goes off the crossbar. The follow-up squirts loose from the goalie, but they could not capitalize. That was their best opportunity. They did not get many chances after that. As for Milby, he was still trying to finish the hat trick, and he got it. There was still about 14 minutes to go. You could get the sense that with everything that the Mustang did at this tournament, that was the nail in the coffin. For only the second time in school history, the Natrona boys are state champs. Final score, three to one. The only other championship was back in 1996, and the Mustangs would finish this season with a record of 11, nine, and one.